Hello dear all beautiful learners, welcome all to here uh, again in the chapter 6 of biology and class on online class we are connecting here for learning a uh, project based study like SQ types of project we need to complete the all chapter from the books as like as previous time we are connecting here with the chapter 6 SQ types so we will try to understand uh, that what type of SQ we will learn today number one is we can write how many percentage how many percentage of transpiration transpiration occurred through lips through lips number two we can uh, uh, write the outer layer outer layer of leaves known as what then number third transpiration is a necessary evil transpiration is necessary evil who told it who told it okay number four for transporting why the uh, video is paused i don't know actually what is happening so dear students i hope so you are connecting here uh, almost around uh, there nahian is joining there uh, ishfakul joining there fehima jannat jawad korim watching onnob also we have seen so today uh, we will uh, discuss about uh, this type of question uh, sq types of question Hope so you will connecting as well and you will go through understanding this type of SQ types of session and question on going on through. So my dear student very first question if we want to go through understanding about that one that is how many percentage of transition are uh, through uh, leaves almost around not 100% we can accurate calculation cannot have there but we can write here uh, for uh, getting almost 90 to 95% transpiration uh, going through the stomatal uh, transpiration that means stomata through stomata it is going on through almost around 90 to 95 percent 90 to 95 percent of water going through this process how many percentage of transpiration occurred through leaves it is almost 90 to 95 percent and you know uh, there are three kinds of uh, transpiration one is the uh, cuticular one is the lenticular and another one is the stomatal so stomatal transpiration that means through the leaves is almost around 90 to 95 percent and other transpiration can done other 5 to 10 percent through that parts okay so outer layer of the leaves yes actually there is you can see here someone say epidermis epidermis of course it is correct i say cuticle epidermis is the outer layer and in the epidermis also in the epidermis also there is more another layer is also uh, uh, is having there the outer part of that epidermis is known as the cuticle that means cuticle is the very most outer layer of the uh, uh, leaves okay very uh, very most outer layer and uh, epidermis is also the outer layer of course it will be the outer layer epidermis can have the outer layer of the uh, leaves and be, then after epidermis there is another thin layer can have we have seen there and that is the uh, cuticle cuticle is uh, that parts who told uh, the transpiration is the necessary evil it is the cartis you know everyone but though it is uh, we known but many of the time when you will grow up you will forget it but it is very important to remember transpiration is the necessary evil we know that the transpiration is going on through 
transpiration is going on through yes i i want to say who uh, are connecting properly uh, here can uh, yes ashak the liza alaikum assalam i want to say those type of sq types of session and sq types of question what we actually going on through understanding about that parts needed to keep counsel in mind transpiration is a necessary evil who told it actually uh, cartis told this one transpiration is a necessary evil it is told by cartis cartis is the scientist for getting this one now uh, for transporting blood what times almost almost require for it is almost around 1 minute it can be for a uh, uh, few second can less or more on going on through but actually it is uh, going on through almost around 1 minute for transporting blood through the body but uh, throughout the body total uh, body it is transporting blood from where brain to any parts or throughout the whole body body it is needed almost around about one minute one minute time it is needed almost time the colorless fluid part of the body is there are many kinds of fluid you can uh, uh, say in the body body types many uh, of the keys you can uh, see uh, that specific parts of the uh, uh, body we can see the blood blood have also have two parts blood corpuscles or blood cell and plasma okay then there are chemical substance inside us poisonous substance also created some liquids like but which one actually known as the colorless fluid uh, fluid part of the body though we know the plasma have bearing plasma have bearing the yellowish color although though uh, getting that one but totally what we actually going on through when the blood is the colorful part since the hemoglobin present in the eyes, so blood cell is also be very colorful but plasma is though it is look like the slightly yellowish color but colorless fluid are termed as them actually when they mix with the blood corpuscle actually here what we say the blood connecting with the blood corpuscle and uh, plasma this is the colorful and this is the colorless when they mix together the total color is red turns to and this red actually present because of the rbc containing the rbc containing the hemoglobin so that hemoglobin containing so blood uh, cell or blood corpuscle is colorful red color plasma slightly yellowish so they are called the colorless when they mix together to form the total blood what we see actually with our visible eyes that color turns to the red because of the rbc containing the hemoglobin so here plasma is actually known as the colorless fluid so plasma is actually going on through and known as the colorless fluids okay uh, salihin joining kashfi sanjana i want to say why actually it is going on there that is actually uh, on the uh, process of uh, that process the colorless fluid if it is asking for you will write plasma though i told you the explanation though it is look like the slightly yellowish color okay by the way this one is also very important another one uh, the passive absorption done by which process <coughs> one is the active absorption and another one is the passive absorption active absorption what we actually uh, see uh, through the active absorption when it is going on through the active absorption the directly the main root can absorb the water or minerals through the uh, root and passive absorption is also uh, done by the process with the root here help the root here to the main root and go on helping the conducting tissue gyrum and phloem go upwards to the leaves but what is actually uh, going on through who is process the two process it is the imbibation imbibation and osmosis both process is going on there both process is going on there actually passive absorption done by which process it is asking for sq types of question then you will write imbibation and osmosis okay and the colloidal uh, in nature since the water and liquids go through the root here the imbibition then after 
uh, the low concentrated area to high concentrated area to the main uh, roots so that is the osmosis and both process can having uh, the passive absorption is going on there and then it conducting through the leaves then after it is uh, importantly uh, this one imbibition and osmosis please remember this one and i remind you once again for that parts and finally last two question was which force is uh, responsible for capillary water important this question is very 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 important question and uh, Aryan also joining Alaikum Salam I want to say uh, actually uh, what is going on there what is going on there the uh, which force is responsible for uh, capillary water to enter root here capillary water to enter root here capillary water to enter root here by the force of suction force very important question suction force suction force is the uh, responsible and important points of that parts so dear students look at here what we actually uh, tried to understand today's lesson from uh, that lesson chapter 6 we discussed many of the uh, sq in before today we also find out some important question and common and uncommon question how many percentage of transpiration occur through lips 90 to 95 percent almost around it can be very somehow but most of them because of the stomatal uh, uh, transpiration process outer layer of the leaves are known as i told you when we section uh, that the leaves in through the microscope we see the layer that layer is the epidermis and very out of the epidermal layer there is some layer very thin layer is seen is called cuticle so very outer layer is the cuticle and most outer layer uh, uh, and just outer layer of the epidermis transpiration is a necessary evil who told it cartis uh, it is important the, uh, to remember the scientist name for transporting blood what times almost around transpiration blood where throughout the body it is almost around one minute it can be very for few case but around one minute can blood can passing suppose a blood donor donator blood donation i it, i take inside in me so it is spreading in our in my body within one minute the colorless fluid part of the body i make you understand the blood have two part blood corpuscle and plasma the blood corpuscle having one important part is the rbc rbc contain the hemoglobin so hemoglobin color is the red so uh, this red color mix can com compile the total blood cell is the uh, red color and plasma is slightly yellowish color though we have seen they mix together to form the blood and we have seen the red since they are slightly yellowish color they, we can say they are termed as the colorless fluid part of the body the passive absorption done by which process i make you understand the imbibition and osmosis both process through the root here the passive done. what force is responsible for capillary water to enter the root here very important the suction force we cannot remember uh, somehow because this term is not known to us suction force so suction force is responsible for uh, capillary water to enter root here so this is the process this is the so dear students i want to uh, say uh, for uh, repeating this uh, uh, repeating uh, repeating this one uh, that uh, uh, percentage of transpiration 95 percent outer layer epidermis or cuticle transpiration is necessary will cart is almost around uh, transporting blood what times almost required. the colorless fluid part of the body is actually plasma why it is i make you understand uh, the passive absorption done by which process uh, imbibition and osmosis and which force is responsible for capillary water to enter so dear student practice at uh, practice at home and who are not present there please uh, do the video once again and it will be very helpful for you for connecting there and that's all Allah.